Can y'all say hi to Michael Sinyagin? Yeah, my, yeah. Uh, he's been serving on our worship team for a number of years, also on, part-time on staff here as our musical director. Um, but you've been playing guitar for about how many years? About 10 years, and you play lots of different instruments. You play keys, uh, bass, guitar, drums, uh, trumpet, um, any other? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you probably play anything. Can you play the kalimba, though? Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah, why not? You don't even know what a kalimba is, but you can play it. So, um, so you've been playing for about 10 years. Are you, did you take lessons, or were you self-taught? Self-taught. So he's been playing for about 10 years, self-taught. Um, why don't you show us what being self-taught is all about? And uh, so when your kids say, Mom, I just want to teach myself by watching a YouTube video, and you're like, no, you need lessons. Well, here we go. He kind of proved this wrong. So, of course, he's got about, you know, every guitar player needs like 35 pedals. Uh, you're using a loop pedal. You know, understand guitar. That's pretty good, right? I mean, come on, let's give it up for him. Nice job. So um, let me just ask you this then. In order to learn an instrument, there has to, whether you're self-taught or have lessons, you got to know a little bit. So you got to know about the strings and where, how they're tuned. There's six strings. They all play a different note. Uh, you got to know where to put your fingers on the fret to make chords or play uh, individual notes. Um, so there's a level of understanding it. So if you could take us back to maybe the first time you ever put a guitar on 10 years ago, had no knowledge, no understanding of a guitar. Can you try to mimic maybe what it would have sounded like? Try. You'll try. It's going to be hard. This is for all the parents when they see their kids trying to learn an instrument. So, I mean, it's kind of like a train wreck, right? Hey, can we give it up for you did that pretty well. <laughs> so, and if you took, if you, um, any of you tried to learn an instrument, you know this is true, but uh, in order to get good at an instrument, you have to practice. So are there, was there ever a time when you were like, you're not really into practicing? Pretty much all the time. Pretty much all the time. But the reality is on an instrument, that instructions or understanding the instrument, all of that is kind of pointless unless you put it into practice. Practice is necessary. Yeah, thank you for your help and thank you for confirming all of my assumptions. I appreciate it. But we know this is true, not just about instruments, but about any instructions that we, that we get or receive or follow. If we don't apply these instructions, if we don't put them into practice, they really are pointless. So instructions from God, they're not trying to take something from us. They're not trying to be restrictive. They're not trying to be like, oh, you know, keep you from having any type of fun in life. No, instructions are for our benefit, but they really are pointless unless we put them into practice. 